Hey, what's up? It's Phil from Easy Unreal and welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how to create this uh, simple scene. Uh, it's a beginner friendly and I think if you are a beginner uh, that you will find this very helpful. And uh, let's, uh, let's start. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go to games and go to third person, for example, name our project. For example, project one, click create. The first thing you want to do is to go to window load layout and click this default editor layout. This will make uh, mine and yours Unreal Engine uh, the same. Another good thing is to go to settings on the top right corner and go over here engine scalability settings. If you have some problems with your FPS or you running on a low end PC, I think uh, you can just go with a low over here, medium or high. Find what it works for you. The next step is we go to file and we go click new level and we will choose basic. And before we do anything, make sure to go to file and click over here, save current level. Unreal uh, doesn't uh, save your level automatically, so it's a good thing that you save your level in case it crashes. So we can call this our map and click save. Just a quick tip to move around the editor, hold down the right mouse button and use standard first person shooter keys. To go up and down, use Q and E. And while doing this, scroll the mouse wheel up and down to speed up or slow down the camera. If you are far from the object, use F to focus. To move objects, press W key and use the arrows. To rotate, press E key. And to scale it, press R. All these options are available at the top right corner. You can check all these shortcuts and more in the description below. Okay, now that you are familiar with the navigation, uh, we need to create our landscape. First of all, select this floor and just hit delete. We don't need it anymore. And we go over here that says selection mode, go to landscape mode or shift to. And practically you can leave this everything as it is and just hit create. You can uh, tweak these parameters, but I think this will be just fine for this tutorial. Hit create and we have our landscape. Okay, the next step is that we go to our mega scans, to our bridge. Just click over here and click Quixel Bridge and it will take you to the bridge. Make sure to log in. We want to add the material for our landscape. To do that, uh, go to the collections over here and we will go to environment and we will go over here to natural and this Zeric shrub lens. I will use this dry cracked mud and just select it. Over here, choose the quality. I will go with the highest quality and just click hit download. Okay, after it's done, you can just click this add and it will add uh, your material to the project. You can close it and go back to our map. And if I hit control space, you can uh, open your uh, drawer and click over here, dock in layout. And you can see over here under mega skins, surfaces, dry cracked mud, we have our mud here. On the right side, on the, under the landscape, click it. And you can see this landscape material. Now just drag and drop this material to the landscape material. And we automatically have our material. But if I click uh, right click and click play from here, you can see it's a bit small, it's a tiny, so we need to make it bigger. It's very easy to do. Just double click your material. Under tiling and offset, make sure to expand this. So you can just type in 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 and it looks good. Let's now add some distant cliffs. To do that, go back to the landscape mode. Make sure you're in a sculpt mode. You can choose the tool strength. I will pump it up and the brush size to be a little bigger. And you can just scroll out of your view, paint on the edges of this level. Just paint on the edges of this level, something like this, and go back to the selection and go play from here. And you can see the hills uh, on the edges of our map. Okay, let's go back to bridge and add this gigantic sandstone terrain. To do that, uh, I already downloaded before, so just drag and drop it to your level like this. It will be really, really big, so you need to go out, press R on your keyboard and reduce the size. If you can't reduce the size or it's a little bit choppy like this, uh, go over here, enables or disables snapping objects to the scale grid and now we can just reduce the size more uh, fluidly and press W on your keyboard to move this like this. Hold Alt on your keyboard, move it to duplicate it, press R again to reduce the size, press E to rotate and just use these three tools to make our uh, environment. We will copy this over here, move them a bit 
And if I hit play from here and press F11 to go full screen, you can see your heels in the distance. Okay, escape and F11 to go back to your editor. Okay, let's now add another asset. This will be our well. Go back to the bridge. Go back to home and type in over here well. 3D assets. And you can see this old stone well. Just drag and drop it to our map and position it, for example, over here. Press F on your keyboard to focus it. Save everything with Control Shift and S. And we have our well. And let's now import our character. We will go to the website called Mixamo. It's mixamo.com. And over here you can log in and click over here browse characters. And I know already that my character is named Maynard. And select it. You can see we have our character. Now we go to animations and type in male sitting pose. And we will use this male sitting pose. Uh, just hit download. Make sure that is FBX with skin. It doesn't matter frames per second because it doesn't move and keyframe reduction now just hit download. Okay, after it's done, let's locate the file, drag and drop it to my desktop. Okay, go back to Unreal Engine, go back to content folder, right click on it and click new folder. And this will be our character. Double click to open it. And now you can minimize everything and just drag and drop this file to the Unreal. Make sure that uh, skeletal mesh is selected, import mesh is selected and make sure that you click this import animations. It's not that important, but uh, in, under the advanced, because we will get this error, so you want to avoid this error, click this snap to the closest frame. Make, make sure it's selected and click import all. You will get this uh, message log, it doesn't matter. And you can see that this male sitting pose animation. You can put him in the well, of course. Position him in the center and move him up. We can also make him a little bit bigger because if I hit play over here, we make sure that he is uh, okay, he is uh, big enough. He is in the middle of this well. Okay, position it and move it up. And we have our character in uh, our level. I can rotate him like this. Uh, now let's add some glowing orbs to his hands. It's very, very easy to do that. Uh, first of all, we, we got to go back to the content folder. Over here, make sure to control shift S to save everything. Now go right click and uh, select this material and type in glow material, glow or glow material. Double click to open it. Okay, while holding four on your keyboard, press left mouse button. Then we need to hold M on your keyboard and left mouse button. This will be our multiply node. Hold one on your keyboard and left mouse button. Connect it just like this. And connect to emissive color. This uh, first constant view, uh, will be our color. So if you double click it, you can choose the color over here. For example, this nice pink color. Over here under the value, we will choose the intensity of our color and it will multiply those two nodes and plug it in into emissive color and we'll have our glowing material okay this color is a bit not that good and our emissive we want to make this value to be something like 20 and you can see it's glowing now make sure to apply and go back to our map we have a material now we will add two spheres go over right here and type in sphere and just add it to your level and now drop the glowing material onto your sphere and we have our glowing material you can see this press r to scale this orb and move it to to the hand i will press f11 so i can see it better and now hold alt to duplicate and just transfer it to another hand and it will be just fine. Okay, another good thing is that we can add some uh, shapes. We can add the cylinder, just drag and drop the cylinder over here, drag the glow effect on it. We can scale it and position it inside the well so we can have a nice lightning from below. Okay, we can now group uh, this uh, character and this well and this lightning because we want to add some uh, landscape beneath it. To do that, it's very useful to 
you can select this male sitting pose, zoom in and hold shift and select one sphere, select the second sphere, select the well, select the sphere inside and right click and just hit over here group. And you can see it says group actor zero. So we can move it all together. This is important because we will move it up, go back to the landscape mode, reduce the tool strength and reduce the brush size and paint over here a little hill. And we can click this smooth and smooth things out, reduce the tool strength and smooth this hill. Go back to the selection tool, select the group actor and drop it down. And now we can delete our old player start, select player start, hit delete and add another player start, player start and it will be here. Make sure it's not inside the terrain, a little bit outside, hit play and we have our guy over here. You can see that our hill is a bit choppy so we need to change it, shift 2 and we can a little bit smooth it again. If you can see F11 and you will see your uh, level, smooth it out and smooth it out like this. Okay, go back to selection. If I hit play, we have our guy on the top of the hill. Okay, let's now add some light and fog to change the atmosphere of our sea. First of all, uh, a nice shortcut is uh, press Control L and uh, while holding Control L, move it around so you can see that we are now moving our sun around. You can see sun, I will position it so you can see, you can see sun in the background, how I move it. So position your sun where you want to be. Okay, I will add sun over here so we can have this nice shadow. The next step is to add post-process volume. This post-process volume will add some dramatic effect to your scene and it's very, very useful tool. Go over here, type in post and drag and drop the post-process volume anywhere on your map, it doesn't matter, but make sure it's selected and type over here infinite. And make sure that this infinite extent unbound is selected and this will affect the whole level, not just the box of the post-process volume. Uh, because of that, it doesn't matter where it is uh, because it affects the whole scene. Under the post-process volume, we want to reduce our exposure. So type in exposure, enable metering mode, make it uh, manual, exposure compensation, make, and I found out that 11 uh, looks just nice. Another thing that we can add over here is the bloom. So type in bloom method and click convolution. And over here you can change the intensity of the bloom. Uh, you don't see it right away, but it adds a nice subtle effect to your scene. Now let's add some fog. My favorite is fog, so we go over here under the exponential high fog, click it. First thing to do is to search for uh, volumetric fog, enable it, and you can see immediately that affects our level. Go up and you can see that says fog density, so we can increase our fog. For example, let's type in over here 10. It's too strong. Okay, 0 0.6 looks good. Also, we can go with the extinction scale. And you can see these uh, god rays, how they are, they are pouring through the atmosphere. Also, you can go back to directional light and over here you can use the temperature to make it more warm or colder. Okay, we will go with the cold desert world, so I'll increase the temperature. And we can change the light color, for example, you can change it, decrease it or increase it over here. Or change the color, I will decrease the intensity of light and go back to exponential height fog, try to find extinction scale and increase over here extinction scale a bit. And if I hit play and hit F11, you can see that we now have our environment over here. Looks good, but let's now add some uh, particles. It's very easy to do. We already have this on Unreal Engine Marketplace. Go to Unreal Engine, go to Marketplace, over here search for products and uh, choose this realistic starter VFX pack volume 2. And we will add to the called my project 2 as to project. I'm really angry and crashed, so I renamed my project, but use your project if it's all, everything okay. Now go back to Unreal Engine and over here you can see realistic starter VFX pack. And go over here, I found nice, it's under the particles, it's under the sparks and these embers. So just drag and drop the embers over here. 
like this. So if, if I hit play, you will see a nice embers going around our uh, character. If you select your embers and over here that you can say seconds uh, emitter not being rendered that need to pass before it no longer gets ticks become active, you can select this to be zero and you can use this time dilation to be 0 0.5 to make these embers uh, move slow, slower. So if I hit play, you can see how our embers are moving slower. And this is it guys, if you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below and check my other tutorials on my channel, they're all beginner friendly and I hope you will uh, love them. And uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day, uh, bye bye!